What's going on everyone? Welcome to this video. Hopefully everyone is staying safe. Hopefully if you had to take a test, you tested negative. Today in this video we're going to talk about just where do we stand right now? Are we on the cusp of another wave? I tend to think we are. And with that, there's something we need to do. It is Mother's Day weekend. And a lot of people may be going to a nursing home to visit their mother. You know, maybe your mother's older and she's in a nursing home. Well, we need to help keep the folks in the nursing homes safe. Nursing home transmission is still a thing. And I do think we are starting to enter a silent wave in bits and pieces here in the United States. Let's start off here taking a look at something here from our world and data. I have two countries here. One, the United States to India. These are the varying proportions. As we know, India just had a quick wave uh, from the XBB116 variant. Their percentage of the XBB116 variant is now at 82%. The United States, though this is a little bit behind, it's over 11% now. You can see when India hit about 50 to 60 percent their cases rapidly started to go up and i'm concerned that's going to happen here in the united states this spread of the xbb 116 and xbb 2.3 which is not listed here i could pull it up on the cdc charts that spread's going to go up let me show you why this is such a big weekend across the country it's not only mother's day weekend it's prom season it's wedding season it's graduation season there's people going everywhere let's take a look at some of this uh, traffic that's going on across the country which you know this is a good way to show spread potential spread look at new york city the roads are just jammed it looks like pre-pandemic connecticut yep you got your saturday connect congestion back look here in my city yeah look at the traffic in south philadelphia right here is the Lincoln Financial Field. Huge Taylor Swift concert tonight. Look at the traffic there. 95 is messed up. It's a disaster. Washington. There's a lot of people moving out and about there. How about on the other side of the country? How about out in Los Angeles? Look at this. Seems like everything's back to normal in Los Angeles. People going left and right. And yes, I know it's looked like this for a while. But the point I'm trying to make is... We're on the cusp of a new variant that is rising in percents, and this is a problem. Now, what I really want to talk about here was the nursing home situation. Nursing home outbreaks never ended. In fact, let's take a look at this. This was back not too long ago, just a uh, couple months ago. There was a nursing home outbreak in Boston. Fairmouth, here's a better uh, look at it. Here's the Cape Cod Times. Fifth COVID death reported at South Yarmouth Nursing Home. State response team was on site at the time. This was back in March 7th. And a lot of people caught coronavirus in that nursing home. And so the point I'm trying to make is with a lot of people going to uh, visit relatives in the nursing homes this weekend, you got to do me a favor. You got to go in a mask. You have to wear a 9-5 mask. And another thing I really do not understand, why are the staff at nursing homes not in masks? We're supposed to be keeping our seniors safe. That was kind of the biggest objective at the start of this pandemic, and we failed to do that. Protections are gone. Pre-testing to enter uh, nursing homes? Yeah, New York State is doing away with that. Look at this. New York... Nursing homes will no longer require negative COVID-19 tests for entry. This was back on March 17th, but yeah, we don't know what we could be carrying into uh, nursing homes. Remember, asymptomatic spread of this virus is real. And you know, a lot of people, this is another issue. Some will go to nursing homes this weekend or go to uh, retirement places and say, Hey mom, let's go out to brunch this weekend. Okay and say they catch COVID there, then bring COVID back to the facility, and it becomes a whole outbreak. I am expecting, I could preach to the choir all I want, I'm expecting there are going to be a large number of outbreaks in facilities post-Mother's Day weekend. And let's go on to the other thing as well. I mentioned weddings, 
graduations, proms. Yeah, that's going to get the ball going as well. And I think this weekend is going to be really what gets the ball going for the XBB 116 dash XBB 2.3 wave. We're already starting to see cases rise in my state. I reported on it today in the pandemic update. We had not, we weren't far off from 2,000 cases this past week, which was a uh, well over a 40 to 45 percent increase over the previous week. Yeah, it's 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 time to start taking this seriously again. I said that uh, two or three weeks ago. The time has come to take this serious again. If you haven't done so yet, it's starting to become too late. Data and reporting is terrible right now. We are starting to enter what will probably be a silent wave. I get wastewaters coming down, but have you noticed that there's a lot of people sick as of lately? I've noticed it. Have you noticed it? I'm seeing a lot of kids coughing. I'm seeing adults coughing. And don't come on here and tell me, well, people have always gotten sick in the warm season. No. Cold and flu season is technically from fall through to early spring. We're now about to enter into summer within the next month. Cold and flu season is over. COVID has no season. COVID lasts all year round. What helps prevent the spread of COVID? N95 masking. Come on, we need to do N95 masking. And senior facilities, this is something else that bothers me. A lot of them have poor ventilation. Why can't we have HEPA filtrated air in nursing facilities? Why? Why can't we? It's something that's so easy to do, but yet so little want to do it. So please, if you are going to visit your mother or a relative in a care facility tomorrow for Mother's Day, please take the proper precautions and mask. There is a uh, hashtag I really would like to see trending on Twitter, and that would be hashtag mask for mom. Can we do that? Mask for your mothers this weekend. So put that out there. Hashtag mask for mom. We need to keep our elderly people safe. That was our biggest goal at the start of the pandemic, and it needs to continue now because it is ridiculous. We are all the way up here into the middle of 2023 almost, and we're not doing it. And another problem that I'm seeing, I had it here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. COVID booster rates in nursing homes remain low. What gives? Everyone should, it should be easy for our seniors to get a booster. And why are the staff not getting boosters? The staff need to be masked as well. I don't get it. I think staff should either, either be masked or they should have to do rigorous testing. Get tested multiple times a week. It is totally ridiculous. These are our loved ones and we're putting them at risk all over not wanting to wear one of these that can really help prevent the spread of the virus, as can HEPA filtrated air. Alrighty, that's my little talk for this week. Uh, we'll do another one like this maybe next week. That's my COVID minute for this week. Please, folks, stay safe. And if you're going to visit someone tomorrow, it doesn't even have to be a nursing home. It can be at home anywhere. Mask and rapid test before you go. We need to detect all the cases that we can detect to slow this spread as much as possible. Alrighty, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button down below. And of course, the most important thing, stay safe everyone. Have a great night.